Hello everybody, Grace and we're checking out a game for the channel called Bus Simulator 2018. As you can imagine, our job to make vicious stacks of cash. This time, you know, we've made money in a lot of different ways when I think about our past. We've flipped houses, we've mined for gold, but now we are going to own a bus company, a public transit company, so that we can make money in that way. And I'm going to tell you something. It's pretty legit. You start out with one bus, and then you can own different types of buses. You can upgrade the buses. You can paint them. You can do all kinds of stuff. The developers of the game got with me and sent me the game early so I could check it out. I'm going to have links in the description below if you want to check it out. Over here, actually right here, you can see we have some objectives. And if we complete them, we get like a crap ton of money. Uh, so I think it's something that we want to do. Painting the bus is actually one of the objectives. So I think I'm going to do that. There was a tutorial, pretty decent tutorial. It covered a lot of stuff. I got that out of the way, so we don't have to see that again. I didn't... <laughs> oh, right over here, you're going to notice the name of our company. Mm. The name of our company is Sad Masters. I had originally intended this to just be like a little thing so I could learn how to play the game. And the tutorial was actually very comprehensive. So rather than do it again, I'm just going to keep with it. So yes, okay, the name of our company is Sad Masters. You know, we're <laughs> SM, we're going to deal with it. I got a route I made over here. You can make your own routes. I went ahead and made one because I had to for the objective. You got a bunch of different buttons over here, statistics, so you can see where all your money's coming from. It'll show you about ads and drivers, pendy buses. Over here, we have the route planner, which is what we have. We got employees, which I haven't actually hired anyone yet. Right over here, we have... Bebara? Radovanik? No bus driving experience at all. Bus driving is a family tradition. Neighbor... Never ate a banana in his life? What? I feel... I think I may have gone... Off tangent. How did it come to this? How did we start with... Bus Simulator 2018, and we've we've come to the point where a, a young man has never eaten a banana. We're good. We're, can we hire this person over here? We've got our bus garage right now. We have this Mercedes bus, which is actually pretty legit. 28 seats. Like it said, you can paint it. So hold on. I wonder if we can paint this. Oh, here we go. Customize. Change the primary and secondary color. As you get more levels, it looks like you get more colors. So I think we only have a couple of colors. Yeah, see, we only have some colors right now. So uh, we're gonna go with red because red means fast. And we're gonna go with, actually, that looks pretty cool. Like this red and this dark gray. Yeah, I actually like that. That's what we're gonna do. Oh, Lord. Oh. Oh, you can have different skins. That looks pretty sweet. We're gonna do that. And then you can have decals as well. I don't think that we have any decals that we've unlocked. You can have different interiors as well. That's freaking crazy. Create a decal. Oh, okay. So you unlock these as well. I don't know if you can Photoshop in or like MS Paint your own decal. That would be sweet if you could. So you can rotate it. You can change the size. You can do all that. Oh, we have the spider on top. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, this is so this is our bus. I like it. Now, once you got your bus all set up and looking freaking sweet, you can do all these different settings over here for all your driving, which I think is pretty cool. So you can have like a random day, a daytime, a nighttime, a rainy day, dawn, sunny and rainy. Let's just pick. Uh, let's just pick random just to see what happens. You can do quick start on or off. All this means is if this is on, that means that you start inside of your bus ready to go. I'm going to turn this off just so I can show you guys all the different stuff that you have to go through just to get the bus running. It's pretty legit. Like, I've never driven a bus professionally in my life, okay? My only experience is simulative in this game, but I feel like all the buttons and everything are pretty appropriate. So we got all this. I'm just going to leave all this off. I'm going to leave these on. And then you have a simplified or a realistic. And you can change this however you want. And just the simplified means that you get an automatic transmission instead of a manual transmission. And you also can't auto set your speed. Like there's no thing that keeps you from breaking the law. We'll mess around with this a little bit. But for right now, let's go ahead and start the trip over here. And I'll show you the rocket science that we have to go through to turn on our bus. Oh, it's nighttime. That's freaking great. In all the tutorial, it was always daytime. So this is going to be fun. Enter the bus. Now, the bus is 100% interactive, which is awesome. So you legitimately have to open the door over here. There goes the door. You got to climb inside. And once you're inside, you can interact with the bus. So, like, people will drop trash on the ground. You got to pick it up. 
You've got to tell people to get out of the way because they're blocking the door and stuff like that. It's pretty. So you can jump up over here to the cockpit. We can go over to the first person view. There's a bunch of different views. There is a, like a, a stuck action cam. So right now, like I can't move the camera. There's another one that's a rear kind of view. It looks back at all your different people that are on the bus. And then of course, you've got one where it's more like your Grand Theft Auto third person view. So before we start, we have to bring all the doors in over here. So you gotta close the doors because otherwise the bus, you can't get, you can't move anywhere because the bus like tilts so that people can get on the bus easier. Now, once you're here, I think that we have our, yeah, see all this stuff. You could click on all of this. It's crazy. Look at all these buttons, the engine, the ramp, and the retarder, and the, I think that there's a windshield wiper, and all your lights and everything. If anyone has ever driven this particular Mercedes bus, you have to let me know if it's legit. I think that these were officially licensed, so they should be pretty realistic. All right, ready? Ignition goes on. Oh yeah, listen to that baby purr. All of our lights appear to be on, which is good. I think we have to turn on our headlights, though. There we go. Now the headlights are on. You gotta take your parking brake out. Let me go ahead and fish it on down here. There we go. Parking brake is off. And now we can slowly move on out here. The garage should move up. Yes. As we head on out. And welcome to the beautiful cityscape of our illustrious area. Now you can use your turn signals and you get benefits based upon correct driving. Which means that I'm about to lose a ton of money because I drive like a friggin' maniac. Once you get into your picky up area, you slow on down, you open up the doors, and delicious passengers file in, prepared to give you stacks of money. Well knelt, it says. All right, right over here, we gotta do our tickets. Control button to do the tickets. So two week, pat, regular tickets. So week, regular, we want two of them, print it out, and we have to give them the appropriate amount of change back. There we go. Let's see, one day student ticket. Okay, day student. Why does everyone gotta be so friggin' specific about all the tickets they want? Y'all done? I didn't know they have they have lines. I guess they have lines if they say at least the bus is heated. All right, all our people are on the bus. You can see here, everyone's happy. Stacks are being made. Close all the doors up, re-tilt the bus. Is that called kneeling? Is that what that is? I can't wait for the weekend, uh, me neither. All right, so now we have to drop everyone off. Now, one of the other things that you can do, which is pretty slick, is you can adjust, look at this. You can adjust exactly where you are in the bus. So if you want like a, li a little bit like of a higher seated position, we can totally do that. All right, so let's turn on our blinker. We've got a rear view mirror that legitimately works. We're gonna make sure no one's in the way over here and let's move onward. Now again, if you want to, Oh, hold on. A passenger is listening to really loud music. Oh my god, I've never had to do this before. Hold on. Don't make me stop this friggin' boss. Hold on, let me let me get out over here. I'm very curious. There. Break. Break. Get out. Go back over here. I've never had to deal with a scumbag listening to music. Oh, you can look at all their tickets too. My bad. Sorry. Yeah, turn the friggin' music down. What's wrong with you? We're gonna get we're gonna get stacks of money. Can I see your ticket, please? They have a valid ticket. I wonder if someone has an invalid ticket if you can mess with them. Anyway, back over here. Let's go ahead and turn the cabin lights on, I guess. I guess everyone wants to make sure they have the lights on. There we go. Ticket machine light and fire lights. Okay, I think we have all of our lights on now. To our next stop. Now, it appears like this has multiplayer support, which is kind of neat. We're a little bit behind schedule because I had to deal with a friggin' noisy passenger, which I didn't want to have to do. If you hit the Z button, you see right there how it gives a little exclamation point? That means that we cannot go over the speed limit. You can turn that on or off depending on if you want it on, which is kind of cool. I don't know if the puddles do anything. Like, see how there's all kinds of... Oh, now you want to slow down for the... Hold on. There. You want to make sure to slow down for the freaking speed bumps because I know you get docked points if you screw that up. Now, put our blinker on. Roll in. Nice and smooth. Wait for it. Wait for it. Right there. That's what I'm talking about. Open up all the doors. Good timing. We're getting big bonus marks over here. People are going to start rolling up in. I need to purchase several tickets. Several tickets, good sir. Absolutely. He wants two regular single tickets. Regular, single. There you go, buddy. We got to give him a stack of cash back. Uh, 50, 10. There we go. Everyone's on the bus. Let's freaking roll out and not kill anyone. Turn your blinker on. Look at the rear view mirror. Look at gray. Be it all, be it all safe and whatnot. Hold on, I'm gonna turn off, I'm gonna turn off the auto thingy over here because, uh, you know what? 
If we break the law of speeding, that's our bad. We're gonna have to learn how to deal with it. If we wanna be legitimate bus drivers, we have to deal with the potential of penalties for being crazy scumbags. But let's roll up in here and continue to make more money. It looks so, look pretty easy so far. Yeah, with some strange dialogue just to fill the silence. <laughs> I love a game that's self-aware. Yeah, you you too, buddy. I'm glad to have you on the buzz, man. I love it. Here's some strange dialogue to break the silence. Thank you, Gabe. Fantastic. All right. Looks like everybody's off. I kind of like this view. You can see a lot more like this. What's what's the other view like? Where's, where's that where's that action cam view? Uh, not that one. Right here. Here's like the action cam view. You don't you can't see enough like that though. I don't think I like that one. I think we're gonna stick to this one for right now. I'm gonna tell you, this diesel, it's got a little muscle behind it. You you don't know, but we can get up to speed. In fact, you know what? I, I think we're gonna go ahead. I think we're gonna get a ticket. Just to see what it's right like. Time. Thank you. Get up everyone out of here. Luckily we had a couple seconds left to load everyone up. Anyone need a ticket? Anyone? No one needed a ticket? Hold on. Let me check something here. I think I already checked your ticket. What? Let me see your ticket. Oh, here you go. Valid ticket. How about you? Where is it? Valid ticket. Hold on. How about you? Wow. Hey, what? No. There it oh no, I forgot it. Oh, they just got fined. They forgot their ticket. See that? It worked. They have to pay the fine now. How about that? They almost got they almost got one past us, those freaking scumbags, but not today. Our vigilantness allowed us to find 120 to some would-be scum girl thinking that they could get up in here without paying last night at the old sawmill. What the hell? The band seemed to be just sleeping. <laughs> I can't even keep a coherent thought because some of these lines are so random. Alright, let's see how fast we can go. Here we go. 50. 55 kilometers per hour. 63 kilometers per hour. Holy crap, we're flying. Oh, right through the intersection. Oh, they yelled at us. All right, uh, we have to stop, though. We have to drop everyone off. Hold on. We'll try and get it up to speed in a little bit again. But for right now, bam. Thank you, sir. Perfect parking. That's what I'm talking about. You want to see a photo of my cat? Sure. I have a ticket, please? Yes, absolutely. I love the lines. I can't believe they've given people so many lines. It's actually kind of freaky. All right, senior. Uh, yep, one ticket over here. You got a right. You got the appropriate amount of money on you there, good sir. Seems like you do. There's your change back. Three week student tickets. That's that's a good amount of money, I think. Print it out. Yeah, look at that. Eighty, right there. Thanks. Give you all your change. One ticket, please. All right. Regular week ticket over here, like so. Fantastic. The guy just saw a UFO. This game gets a 10 out of 10 from IGN. Freaking love it. All right, let's make sure we're looking good. See that? People stop for you. I gotta tell you, that's pretty slick. Now, this game isn't really made for like amazing crashes and stuff like that. So if you do crash, nothing really happens. Here, let me, uh, let me, let me, let's go crazy. We're gonna go freaking crazy here. We're 70 kilometers per hour. Here we go. Oh, bam. There we go. Hit the curb stone. But other than that, if you notice, there's really no damage to the vehicles. Like, we went buck wild. We got like a $3,000 fine. But at least they put it in. At least they do fine you if you go crazy like a scumbag. There it is. There's the freaking title of the video. Maniac bus driver kills multiple pedestrians while trying to make stacks of cash. Lady over there kind of looks like she was walking with a coat hanger in her pants, but I'm not going to I'm not going to judge her for that. Was that a, a ghost? <laughs> People are seeing UFOs. People are seeing ghosts. Where are we? Like where is it? Where are we that this much craziness happens? All right, good timing. More good starting positions. If you want to, you can always press the escape button and kind of see. Yeah, you can see we've been fined four and a half grand for uh, our inappropriate driving methods. But we're also making a lot of money because people are buying a lot of tickets. All right, let me go ahead and get these people their tickets. All right, we're a little bit behind the schedule here. So let me, uh, let me get everyone done. Use our blinker as appropriate to get those bonus points or money. I think it's for your level. But, I mean, if it gives us extra stacks of cash, I'm totally fine with that as well. I'm not gonna lie, this is the most realistic- Oh, mother of Jesus!
is, there we go. This is the most realistic bus driving experience I've ever had in a video game. I'm actually quite enjoying myself on arachnid bus lines over here with our deadly Spider-Man radioactive spider protecting the civilians from potential supervillains. People are seeing ghosts. People are seeing UFOs, but no one's died yet. All right, blinker on. Don't want to go crazy now. We want everyone to believe that we have a great amount of skill and agility as we let everyone off and then take new potential money sacks on. One, two, three. What a gruff individual. Blinker on. Dude, what are you doing? Come on. Go. I, I think that guy was literally not going to go until we beeped. That's pretty cool. I didn't think about that. Maybe there's people that suck at driving and you have to force them to pay attention. He was probably on his friggin' cell phone. All right, throw on the blinker. It doesn't look like there's any more pedestrians. Is this the last stop? This may be the last stop, I don't know. Oh, somebody dra dropped garbage. Hold on, let's take care of that real quick. Now you gotta look around. Right over here, Starbucks cup. Look at that crap, leaving that on my friggin' bus. All right, you've completed your route, return to the garage. Um, now, like I said, if you want, you can click these buttons to close your doors and stuff like that, which I think is actually really cool. All right, so since we're done, let's go ahead, throw on our blinker. I think you could still get bonus points, even though your route is over. Let's check it out. Hold on, let's find out. We're leaving the route. Yep, look at that. We still got extra turning points. So let's go ahead through the intersection over here. I think, do we have the right of way? I think we do. Let's go through here. We're coming up to a turn. Throw on the old right-hand turn signal as you do. And wield our bus with grace and potency like so. Use the indicator correctly. And now we pull into the garage, make our stacks for the day, and impress the populace with how well we are making... Woo! With how well <laughs> we are keeping everyone in the public transit system. What kind of money did we end up with? A lot of, like, smoke or something like that out here. Stop the bus. Go inside. Gotta turn the engine off now. There you go. Turn off all your lights and stuff like that. There we have it. And unboard the bus. And there we go. Drive is finished. Terminated bus garage. Alright, what kind of stacks did we make? Oh yeah, look at all the satisfaction. Look at all the satisfaction. Three stars. Three stars and we made almost the level. And we made about 28 grand. That's not too shabby. All right, now to finish up and get our friggin' reward of a lot of money. I think this is gonna give us the correct amount of money to buy a brand new bus so that we can hire, what was their name? The guy who never ate a banana in their life? Barbarian, Conan, Bar I don't know. But expand the existing route, okay? Clicking on the edit route and then drive it and then we'll be done. So edit uh, and then we have to expand it. So the last place that we go to is East Polk, which is over here. So we would have to do one last drop off. Oh, here we go. We haven't done this one. So let's do this one. This will be our last drop off. So I think that extends it. Oh, we have to expand this one. We have to, this was the one that they gave us originally. Um, so let me check this out over here. So this one, yeah. Let's, let's expand it by this Greenwich Square, but let's put it, I don't want to put it there. I want to put it closer to the rest. I think that you can optimize the route and it'll do it for you. Eh, maybe not. Eh, it'll be fine. It's a long route, but it will live. So expand and then drive it. Let's freaking do it. So we did nighttime. Let's do daytime. It's a beautiful day. You always want to go through your bus here just to make sure everything's looking top notch for all of the uh, would be potentials. Park and break off. Let's roll out. It's quite a lovely day outside. The sun shining down overhead. The oh, I was supposed to stop here. Yeah. It's not really the best stopping position. <laughs> I have blocking the door? <laughs> yeah, hold on one second, ma'am. It's all senior citizens. All of them. This is the third senior citizen in a row. Hold on. I'm sorry. Is everyone able to get on? Oh, this dude's blocking the door. We have to take care of this. See this? You gotta get out. Hey, scumbag. Get up inside. Thank you. I'm not gonna lie, I'm uh... I'm pretty sure that we completely stopped traffic from being able to do anything while we were driving. But uh, now we're doing fine. We're driving calmly. We're driving safely, serenely. I'm ultimate plebbing this up. I'm using a keyboard and mouse for this, which you, if you want the full immersion, you got to use the steering wheel. Now, do you track water? 
when you go through it. Let's find out. Hold on. I don't know. I think maybe those are just shadows from the roadway are themselves. Oh, I hit the speed bump because I was looking at the damn watermark. It's fine. It's fine. We're doing okay. We're doing it. That's just, that's a little bit of dissatisfaction. We're going to have to make it up with a perfect stop. Are you ready? Perfect stop right there. Actually, I'm going to back it up a little bit. Now I'm happy with my stop. Eh, it just says good timing. All right, now we hit the last speed bump, so we're going to have to make this one an IGN 10 out of 10 stop. Here we go. All right. Where's my, where's my freaking blinker at? There we go. Blinker on. There's no one here. There's no one here. There's not a single person here. <laughs> I think that's because we we got here a little late or something like that. All right, since no one's getting on, let's close up the doors and head back out. You still got to stop, right? Like, even if there's no one there, we're scheduled to stop. Who knows? Maybe someone would have come running up. See that? Someone fell asleep on the bus. She was supposed to get off, but guess what? We're not turning around, lady. You snooze, you lose. We're going up here. We're doing this instead. Over the man, old cover. What a beautiful fountain. Some of the graphics of this game is actually pretty cool. All right, now this is a big, busy stop right over here. So slow, 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 stop. That is a perfect stopping position. Everything opens up and plenty of people get on and it is time to sell those tickets. They seriously need to keep these lines rolling. Like, the more voice acting this game has, the better. Coast to coast, stoics, everyone. Kind of rhymes with stacks. That's going to be our secondary yeah. business. A lot of beautiful bikes or something like that over there. Let's go ahead and roll up right about here. That was that looked like a good stop. The perfect stopping position. I like how this lady actually mentioned it. She's like, that stopping position was just perfect. Like, she legitimately cares. Oh, three regular day tickets. Okay. Regular. Three. All right. You got enough money on you? Okay. Here we go. We haven't done this in a while. Let's make sure everyone has a valid ticket. All right. Of course. Very good. Valid Hold ticket. Yep. Valid here ticket. How about you? What? You've been sleeping back here. I could there see. What? You man, everyone has oh. a valid ticket. Here you go. Fantastic. Come on. Be aggressive. Aggressive. Come on. There you go. Go, 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 go. Go. Oh, this is going to be tough. Okay, good. It looks like they're stopping for me. That's right. Please stop for public transit. All right. People have to be places. I'm trying to help them out here. Use the indicator correctly, not too shabby. This is going to be a pretty strong turn. Oh, yes! Woo -hoo -hoo. Made it! All right, blinker on. Slow it on down. Roll on in. And that right there, like a glove. Like a glove. Although we didn't fit perfectly. All right. Says that we've uh, we've completed the route. Now, I like, to, I like to legitimately go back to our garage. So let's actually go back to the garage over here. And then we'll call it quiz. Now, I think that you can run over this speed bump. Yeah, as long as no one's inside, it doesn't mess with their discomfort. So if you want to run across the, spe the speed bump at full speed when no one's there, I guess feel free to do it. All right. Made 16 grand. We got some new decals, some new colors. Leveled up a little bit. And now, I think. Hold on now. Yes. We completed the objectives. And we got 130 grand to the bus garage. I wanna see if we can buy a new bus. All right, so we've got a brand new objective over here. It says buy a new bus, hire a new driver, generate an income on a route with a driver. Okay, so I guess that means like allow the guy that you hire to you then drive your own route too. Okay, yeah, so do double the, the routes, which is pretty cool. And then transport leads 180 passengers. So let's go see if we can buy a new bus. I guess over here to the bus garage, you can buy more buses for your company. All right, a little bit of a tutorial. You can scroll through the list of available buses. All right. Okay. So we have a Mercedes. We have this business over here. Let's see. Let's take a look at these two. Man, that Mercedes looks freaking sweet. I'm not going to lie. This has a lot more seats, though. I'm wondering. I'm guessing, again, I don't know too much about this, but is this more for, like, beauty and comfort? And this is more for getting as many people in here as you can? Because if you look, that's three meters longer. It's not too shabby. These ones are still locked. So we're going to have to unlock these ones, but let's, um, let's do it. Let's buy, let's buy the new bus. Let's buy this one over here. Yeah. Scroll through the list, buy the selected bus. Absolutely. 158,000 just spent it just like that. We actually get to sell it for a pretty decent chunk of change. I'm pretty surprised. Customize the bus. We need to put, so you put the friggin' shuriken on there. All right, whatever. We're going to want that red and black or red and gray, I guess. 
Uh, let's get our beautiful color scheme going up in here as you do. Put our decal on, our awesome... Oh, wow, yeah, you can you can mess with this as much as you want. You can make it bigger. You Oh, does it wrap? Hold on, if you put it like this, does it... Does it legitimate? Yes, it wraps all over the bus. Oh, that's cool. All right, but I do... I don't know, man. I kind of like the way we had it because you could see... You could actually see the entirety of the spider. So I think I'm going to keep it right about like that there. Now you do... I will say, though, you do have like UFOs. And like I said, you got your shriek in and stuff like that. But I think I'm going to take the UFO off and we'll only have the one. I'm going to make our spider red and black, though. Just like, just like that. Now you can apply it to all the buses so that they're all exactly the same. I think I'm going to do that just to make sure that all the buses have the exact same. What the hell come it went to white? There we go. I just had to make sure I like confirmed my red selection. It showed me what the red looked like, but I didn't. Over to the employee. Oh, we have different people now. Julia Vri enjoys long walks on the beach. Listens to speed metal while driving. This is an extensive vinyl collection. Okay. So far, Julia is probably going to be part of the team. And Moritz Bullhawk wanted to be a lawyer, believes there's no rest for the wicked, and they're a local figure skating champion. Hold on. Speed metal while driving, you're friggin' hired. Right there. All right. So this was the route that we made. We're going to assign our driver to this. Let's see. Assign driver. Okay. Assign him to a particular bus. I'm going to give him the Mercedes because I want to try the new bus eventually. So let's go ahead and do that. The best result, the expected revenue is about eight grand. Okay, so it's not perfect, but it works. So start route. Now, how long does it take, I wonder? Like, does it take a long time or... um? Oh, okay. So you do... Okay, yeah, I should have read this. So you have to drive your own route while the person that you assign does their route. And that allows you to make the money from the extra person. But we would make an extra eight grand from her. That's pretty good. Just like residual extra money. Hey, folks, what do you think of Bus Simulator 2018? We got some additional people. She loves speed metal. We got some additional buses. They look friggin' sweet. We got into some accidents. Eh, they were all right. But that's, I guess that's not really the purpose of the game. The purpose of the game is to make stacks and have to get to places on time, use your signals, pick people up, drop them off. Now, the other thing was, is in the tutorial, you had to deal with, like, handicapped people and all kinds of stuff. So you had to understand when to drop down the ramp and do all that kind of stuff. And it was cool was we got to legitimately see people that didn't pay for their ticket and issue them a fine. I feel kind of bad about that, but they should have had a ticket before they got on the bus. What do you guys think about it? Feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.